new log, new case. Apparently, Deputy Sylvia has gone missing, or she's been kidnapped, we think. We weren't able to find her, uh, but we have a lead, at least. But we need to find her before tomorrow night, because that's the full moon, and she's a werewolf. Yeah, those exist. Not super surprising, but still. Uh, I don't really have much to say right now. We went to investigate the cabin, but it was already later in the day by the time Martin and Sebastian came to ask us for help. We wasted time by checking Sylvia's cabin uh, itself, despite the fact that she probably never even made it inside. Uh, if, if we hadn't, then maybe we would have been able to follow the tire tracks we found, uh, further. But it's, it's whatever. We'll find her tomorrow. I, I hope. It's gonna be real fucking bad if we don't, so we will. That's all there is to it. And I mean, should be a lot easier to deal with when... For once, we actually have some form of law enforcement on our side. Never would have thought I'd seen the day, but hey, fairies and werewolves and immortal sheriffs are real, so should I really be surprised by anything at this point? Maybe. I don't know. Fucking rambling again. Ending the log here. Alright, we just got back. So I'm going to do this log quick right now. We found Sylvia, and uh, I think someone said that the other guy we found that was captured with her is her uncle or something. It doesn't really matter. Seuss is taking care of them right now, which is why I have a moment to myself. This was my first time having to deal with another hunter rather than, you know, a monster. But like, Sylvia seems like a nice enough lady. I have no evidence that she's ever harmed anyone. And, well, if we hadn't gotten them out when we did, it would have just ended poorly for the guy who kidnapped them anyways. So really, he probably won't ever realize it, but frankly, we did him a favor. There isn't really much to say on the case. We followed the tracks we found to Sylvia's cabin to a run-down cabin in the middle of the woods. It was pretty damn obvious from the silver chain all around the house uh, on the outside that it was the right place. The guy was a bit of a dick to us, but surprisingly he didn't actually shoot us. Probably because Martin was there to be honest. I guess I did learn a bit more about my powers. It's not just supernatural beings. I can get a read on with them. I was able to get a read on this hunter guy too. Uh, and as far as I know, he's just a regular human. Nothing special about him though part of me wonders if it's just because he was posing such a threat in the moment. I still don't know exactly how it works. I was also able to break the chains off of Sylvia and her uncle with uh, some help. I won't lie, that was actually pretty cool. Also, a little terrifying in hindsight, but I know how to control myself. And once I know how to control all this new stuff I'm learning I can do, it'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think that's everything. So, end log. I wasn't even sure at first if I wanted to make this log. It isn't. It doesn't have anything to do with any case. 
things are, uh, pretty quiet in that regard. But, uh, a lot happened last night after Sylvia got sent home. Fuck, where do I even start? Um, Grandma Joan managed to cure that feral vampire some sort of ritual or something. She needed a lot of help with it. Lancia even showed up. Though I, I think only Martin and I saw her, but hey, he got to see her. I could tell that was important to him, and I I, I get why. Um, fuck. <laughs> I haven't talked about this in probably five, six years. Not here. Um, anyways, I, I, I try to keep logs to only important things, cases, not like at the start where I just talked about whatever came to mind, which was mostly Bo. How could it not have been though? He was... I thought he was dead. It was in the newspaper. I saw it. Still have the damn page. But he isn't. I don't know how. I, I don't know what happened back then. Or where he is now. I don't know what's happened to him. But he's... He's alive. He wasn't just a hallucination either. Not... Not this time. I, I touched him. He was real. Really there. But then he was just... Gone. I, I do have some... Vague suspicions. Because... Um... He, he got me my gun back. I didn't think I'd ever get it back. Those damn spirit creatures stole it. It was in their realm or maybe the Fae's. I don't know. I assume they took it wherever they took the poacher's gun. And I, I know they can travel to both. But somehow he found it and he gave it to me. Along with the something for Valencia. <sighs> Just realized I haven't really talked about her here either, other than mentioning her earlier. Uh, to, to be honest, it was hard to fully, completely, 100% believe up until yesterday she was even real. I mean, hell, when you've been having hallucinations for a year, it's really hard to believe when a fucking ghost comes up to you that she's, well, real. But I, I have enough proof now, I think, to be confident. So, yeah, I'm being haunted by a ghost who wants me to find all her bones and bring her back somehow. My dead brother isn't actually dead. Uh, oh, and the feral vampire didn't get cured into just being a normal vampire like Evie and Seuss. She's something else. Like, she sneezed and turned into space. I don't know how else to explain it. You really would have had to be there to really get it. <laughs> I don't know. This town is just a fucking supernatural hotspot, isn't it? And shit that seemed impossible doesn't seem so impossible here. Supernatural or otherwise. So maybe I'll have more to talk about other than cases. Maybe. I think that's all I have to say for now, though. Just needed to get that off my chest and out of my head. I'm ending the log here. Oh, oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't be making this log right now. I should be I should do it in the morning because it 
um, it's late, and it, it was Thanksgiving, so there was some wine, um, and, and so I, I'm not entirely sober, but, um, Bo Bo was here again. He was in my room when I went to go to bed again, and I, we have a fucking, we have a sister. I guess I'm, I'm partially making this log so I don't forget. I can't, can't forget about this. I need to find her. She's, she's in danger. The fake king has Bo. Mom and dad tried to make some sort of deal with them because I, I guess mom lied when she, she said she didn't believe in supernatural bullcrap. I guess maybe that's why she got so defensive over it, but they didn't, they didn't want me to have visions anymore, and they thought that the Fae could take them away, but they got tricked, and Bo got taken away, and I guess the Fae, like, brainwashed my parents into saying they killed him to cover it up. I don't know. They said they killed him. The newspaper said, but they didn't. He's alive, and we have a sister, and I need to find her. Need to find her. I'm trying to look up. Uh, Bo said she's in the foster system, because ev everyone thought we were dead. And mom and dad were going to jail, and there was nowhere else she could go. Poor fucking kid. But I'll find her. And when I do, I, I mean, <clears throat> they, they, they have to give her to me, right? They, they gotta. I mean, I have my old ID. Mm. If, if they need to prove I am who I am, it's probably going to be scary and awkward, but I don't care. She's in danger, because if I don't find her, then someone else might find her first and take her away, and I can't, I won't let that happen. But I should, I should try to sleep. Tomorrow is going to be very long, um, and log. <laughs> Blooper reel. You know, please. I am in the middle of recording. I'm in the middle of recording. Oh, I love my cat, even when my cat's being a silly baby. But I would prefer it if she was a quiet silly baby when I'm recording.